Hello to my friends on Chinikam. Have you heard of the word A1C or hemoglobin A1C, HbA1C, um, glycated hemoglobin or glucohemoglobin? These are these all names are for one test and this one test is used to see how your sugar um, control is. So there are two ways of finding out if you have diabetes. Uh, one is they do your fasting test, blood sugar test, where they say well you should go and fast for 8 to 10 hours then they take your blood and see how your fasting blood sugar is. And if your blood sugar is um, over is 126 or over on two different occasions then they will give you a diagnosis of diabetes. Uh, there's another test that's done which is called hemoglobin A1c or HbA1c. Um, this is a test which shows how your sugar has been over one to three months period of time. So today I'm going to tell you what is A1c. Um, remember I told you in a different video that what it means when they say you have high blood sugar, um, what happens to your blood when your sugar is high. Just the same I'm going to tell you what it means, um, um, HbA1c, what does that mean. So if you're looking at these two donuts here, that's because I'm going to use them to show you what it means. So hemoglobin, which is a substance in your red blood cells. So what does hemoglobin do? Hemoglobin carries oxygen all throughout your body. So uh, the donuts I have here are to show you what uh, red blood cell looks like. So I'm always comparing um, things with food. So to me, a red blood cell actually looks like a donut, like this, you know. They're kind of concave a little bit in there, but this is what they look like to me. You can look at a picture and hemoglobin is a substance um, in this. So because hemoglobin carries oxygen all throughout your body, so it goes to each part. So if your sugar is high, a little bit of that sugar attaches itself to hemoglobin. And what I say is when, so the hemoglobin looks like this. So I say this is like a donut with sprinkles, right? So if your red blood cell is like this, when the hemoglobin has sugar on it, it becomes like this. That's why I have a donut here to show you what hemoglobin A1c is. And if your sugar is really high, that's going to look like this. See, there are a lot of sprinkles on this. That means your sugar is really, really high. So what's a good number for your hemoglobin A1c test? So let me tell you this. The normal number, and this number is in percentage. So normal number is 4 to 5.6%. That's the normal number for your A1c and it's in percentage. If you have a number from 5.6 to 6.4 percent, that's when they tell you that you have prediabetes or you are at risk for diabetes. But if your number is 6.5 percent or over, they give you a diagnose of diabetes. So a diagnose of diabetes is given when your HbA1c um, is 6.5 or over 6.5 percent. So what's a good, good uh, number to have? Well you would want your A1c to be as close to normal as possible. So, you know, you would like it to be less than 5.6%, more closer to 4% than 5%. And if you have diabetes and you've had diabetes for a few years, then if you can keep it under 7, uh, then it is said that you have really good control. So, A1C of less than 7 is good control. 
and basically what they're saying is if your A1C is less than 7%, you're not having any complications. But if it goes over 7%, little complications start to happen inside, which usually you don't feel, but they keep happening. So you would want your A1C to be less than 7% if you've had diabetes for quite some time, but if you're new to diabetes, um, as close to normal as possible. Now this test is done usually for uh, every three months for people um, whose diabetes is not in good control, meaning if it's over 7%. But if your A1C is less than 7%, um, your doctor may uh, decide that uh, you, know, you just need it twice a year, so every six months. Sometimes the numbers um, or your A1C may not be correct. And those are the times if you've had, if you have anemia, if you have blood loss, if you had blood transfusion. Um, so those are some of the things when your, you know, A1C um, may not be correct. You can discuss it with your doctor. There are some other, you know, times when it may not be right either. Um, but that's something you can discuss with your doctor. So now I hope you understand what is hemoglobin A1C or A1C test um, where the sugar attaches itself to your red blood cell.